Hi everyone, this is Athena with Face Painting Paradise. I'm going to do another tutorial for you today on faces. I've got a lot of requests on how to do my mermaid faces and my princess fairy faces and elf faces and things like that. And it's really simple. Um, so I'm just going to show you really fast how to do it. And it's it's not as difficult that as everyone I think is um, thinking that it is. So I, I start out with just a peachy or fleshy color. You can use a palette that already comes with flesh tones. Wolf Brothers has one. I use theirs quite often. Um, when I'm doing birthday parties and things like that, I just make my own with a little pink, yellow, and white. I like Paradise pink, yellow, and white to make the flesh tone because they blend together really well. Um, also, Paradise has kind of a coral color. That's what I'm using today. It's coral, and I just add a little Paradise white with it to make it look kind of flesh tony ish um, Again, I'm using my little Walmart brush just because I really like this one for covering area fast and quickly, and it does a really good um, little girl's hair design or head design, excuse me, um, fairly quickly. So today we're just going to do like an elf or a princess or um, some little face like that. Um, we're going to start out using the little flat brush, and you can use whatever you want. You just kind of want an oval shape, something like that. We're going to do it fairly large so that you can see the details in it. Um, you want to give her kind of a roundish forehead, but it's going to be covered by hair, so it doesn't really matter. You just The most important part is down the jaw. If you want her to look more like a little pixie, you put it a little bit more pointy at the end. Um, if you want her to look more youthful, you make it a little more rounded. Um, for a princess, I do a lot of princess faces. You can make it look narrow. Um, if you're doing a bad queen or a bad witch, you can do it very pointed here at the end. I hope you can see that color. I know it's really light right there. But you just kind of make it like that. And for pixie ears or elf ears, I just do a little flick out to the side. Um, another one out here. Make them a little pointed. Um, and again, we can cover it with hair or you don't even have to have ears. But for today, we'll just do, we're focusing mainly on the face, but we'll put some little fancy ears up there so you can see. Um, while that's drying, we're going to add some hair. Um, we'll do kind of the hair that I did in my, for my mermaids and my princesses. Uh, early on, I used to do all the Disney princesses until I learned about copyright and that we're not supposed to do that. So now I do fairly the same kind of faces, but I just throw in all different colors, hair, um, you do whatever you want. So it's not copyright issues. It's kind of my, my own version, but I still use the shape is basically the same that they use in all their princesses. So we have an oval, we have a little ears going on and I just loaded a midnight arty cake um, in the blue tones. Um, we'll do just kind of a little sprite or a fairy. Um, I start with the darkest color kind of on the bottom for this design and we're just going to kind of make some little curvy um, curvy little lines, maybe some little wispy ones coming down here. Um, we can go over the ear, we can go behind the ear. Um, you can do it light so that your lines can kind of go over each other. Um, we can make them just however we want to make them because we're going to go back with the detail. So this part isn't really that important. Um, however the hair is because we're going to go back with detail and make our little swirls and make the hair a lot more fancy than than it looks right now. And this is something that's really a lot larger than I normally do because I do it on faces and foreheads, but I'm doing it on my arm so you can see kind of up close um, what it looks like. Um, so you can see it really good. We get it kind of underneath here a little bit more so that we can have a neck in there. I should have put a little color. In fact, I'll just get my brush again that still has the fleshy color on it and make a little neck in here. And then with a Paradise Liner brush, we're going to go do the eyes. Um, 
Actually, first I'm going to use um, a round brush to put the white part in the eyes. The face should be good and covered, colored by now, excuse me, dry by now. Let me just grab that brush. I put it a little bit out of the way. <clears throat> okay, sorry about that. Um, so I'm using a wolf white for the white part of the eyes. I'll just load the brush really good. And the eyes, you wanna make sure that, depending on what kind of shape you're going for, as far as the character of the face, um, I do a lot of mine almond shaped and sometimes if I do manga eyes, um, I'll get a lot of requests for like manga. Then you do them a little bit rounder or a little more um, larger almond shape. But for now, we're just gonna do kind of a basic shape like that. Then we do one on the other side best way to get a good look with your eyes is to make sure that however big you make this one, you put that amount of space in between before starting the other one. Um, that's good. Sometimes it's hard to know if you get your eyes too close together or it just takes the character out of the face a little bit or it gives you a look you're not really going for. That's kind of a common mistake is making them too wide or too close together. But for fairies and pixies and princesses and things like that, especially if you're going for the exotic or really pretty girly look, you want that um, trick to remember. Um, and they don't have to be perfect, but because, again, this is face paint and we're doing it on children's faces and they're not going to care. Um, but you let that dry. And then for doing eyebrows, I really like to use the Paradise Light Brown and dark brown, um, a combination of the two. So I use just a little bit of um, dark brown and a little light brown mixed together. That way it's not too light, but at the same time, you can see it enough. Um, I use that for the nose as well. So when I'm doing nose or outlining um, or the eyebrows, so after we have the white in there, I'm gonna go up and depending on what character face you're going for. I start with making little up flick emotions for the eyebrows. And since this one's kind of going into her hair, we're not gonna see a whole lot of it. Now, um, the more arch you put in it, the more animated it's going to look. If you make round eyes like clown eyes, then the character is going to have a more surprised or a more animated look. If you're going for a pretty girl or exotic, it's just like in glamour makeup, you're going to want the eyebrows to go up two-thirds of the way before you start going down. And you flick it up, but you want that arch in there. Hopefully you can see it okay. Kind of hard because it's very small detail. And you just do that with kind of a brown color. Like I said, I mix two together. I do the same thing when I'm doing the nose. Um, now the nose comes right below where the ears are. Um, if you look at a real person, you very rarely have the nose right in the middle. Um, children tend to look like it's more the middle of the face. And again, if you're doing a fairy or something like that, it doesn't really matter. Um, I usually put mine, imagine a triangle from right here, the corner of the eyes, and kind of like that, a, a good triangle, and that's where I would start with the end of the nose. So today we're just gonna do a simple, where you press down for one nostril, and you lift up, really teeny little line, and then you press down again. And that's just gonna be our basic little um, princess fairy nose. And then on one side, you're gonna do like a little C shape, and the other side you're going to do another little C shape. And that's our little nose. Um, you can use later when you're shading, you can make the nose look more narrow or put shadows on it. And right now we're going to kind of do the same thing with the mouth. <clears throat> we're going to um, start 
and imagine another triangle this way on your design to know where to put the mouth. Um, I'd start with a corner of the mouth there and then just kind of make the mouth out to the side there. And just depending on what character you want her to look like is how you can put lips bigger on the bottom. You can have large lips, you can have just little ones, more petite. It just kind of depends and you can always shade or shadow around it. Um, kind of get a little neck design going on there. Some little collarbones shadowing for later. Um, also when I'm doing the browns I'll put a little detail around the eye. Maybe make a... Sometimes I just outline the whole eye in the brown. And sometimes I'll make that little... Depending on how much detail. Now a lot of these designs People are going to be asking where on earth are you going to do a design like this because birthday parties you're going to have tons of kids. But you'll always get those ones that maybe the mom just wants the kids to have something fancy painted on for a photo shoot or you'll have something around Halloween where they want something a little more extravagant. Um, this design isn't all that practical for doing at a fair or a festival, but it can and you can get it down to just, you know, about three minutes. Um, depending on how much you practice it and do it. Um, sometimes I put just a little bit of brown around where the eyelashes would be so when I go back over it with black it doesn't look so um, dramatic. It looks a little more natural. And you can always make the little line under the eye where the eye would be. Um, she's got some pretty big eyes here but again I'm just trying to show you how to do it. You guys can make it much smaller when you do your designs. But these are good Design, or the, the basics are good because you can put them on monsters, you can do it on fairy faces, on unicorns. I do this on all my animated like turtles, the same kind of eyes. Um, so it's kind of a good technique to know. After that, you got to make sure that your eyes are really, really <clears throat> dry. Then we go with a paradise brush. We load it with para, um, wolf black. And then we'll go into the detail of the eye. Um, I start with outlining the top of the eye. And I kind of make a thicker, like a eyeliner type look right there. Um, a little bit, quite a bit thicker than I would on the bottom. And you do it to both sides so you have a better chance of having it look the same. And then we're going to make a little circle and then a much bigger circle. A little circle and then a much bigger circle. And that's just kind of the beginning of the eyes. Um, you can also underline right now with the black. And then to make the eyelashes, I make the eyelashes in little sets of three. So I do one, two, three, and then move over a little bit. One, two, three. And not necessarily all going in one direction because our eyelashes are little clumps together. And so they kind of make it look a little more realistic if you just do little clumps of two, three going in every direction. I don't know if you can see that, but around the eye with the eyelashes and then you do the same thing on the bottom but not quite as long depending on your fairy or whatever it is we're doing So I'm going to um, <clears throat> use a little bit more black to make the 
iris just a little bit thicker on this one. Sometimes it's cute to have them smaller, but I think on this particular design, and there I have water ruining it. I should have done the little dot first. But that's easy to fix. We'll just add a little white later. Anything can be fixed. That's the good thing about it. And then because she has blue hair and she's kind of a fantasy creature, we will probably put really stunning blue eyes in there. Um, again, do a dot somewhere so you don't ruin the eyes. The eyes are trickier to do. Put it up in her hair somewhere, little dots. And then we go and we do really stunning but pretty blue color in the eyes right there. We do the same thing on this side. And since we messed up the iris, we're gonna paint blue right there to kind of fix it. And then another thing you can do is get a different color of blue or purple and put in the, the eye as well. Sometimes if you get a darker color, you can start where the iris is and go out with little star shapes. But Oh, it's a good thing we made sure. Sorry, I keep reaching over that. I haven't figured out where to put that so I don't knock it over. All right, so we'll say load it with a purple and a darker blue and then we make kind of little star shapes away from the iris inside the eye and we'll put some more highlights there later oh again that water is just killing me about time to get a new brush i think <laughs> Then while the eyes are drying, we can go back and we can put some more detail in this hair. We can do a... We'll do black actually, start with black. And we'll make some pretty swirls. You can have some little pieces coming down. Try to follow the design, but you can add little swirls in there. You have some little stray ones coming out. You have some that come down here. Kind of the same thing I do in a lot of my designs where there's flowy hair, whether it's unicorn, the princesses. Just kind of make these little swirls come out and around. And then we'll go with the white and do the same thing. Give me some highlights. <laughs> then after you put all that in there, then the face will be ready to put the lips on and to do whatever shadowing you want depending on where you want your light source to be coming from. But there's no real rhyme or reason to the hair, especially when it's on a child. <laughs> They're not going to care. <clears throat> and of course this design you can do much less time than what we're doing right now. I'm kind of taking my time trying to show you a little bit of the basics so that all of your characters or um, all the designs you do in the future you kind of see step by step. So I'm loading my white 
right now another wolf white and I'm gonna put another little dot in that iris um, having two just really makes it look um, more kind of manga-ish you can even add another one sometimes just a real smaller one right next to the others um, it just kind of puts a little more sparkle in those eyes um, we can put some lips on there sometimes I'll use just the coral um, or a light pink or mix the two together you can use whatever color you want sometimes you need to put pretty blue lips since she's got blue hair um, but today we're gonna just pat in there just kind of a a color of pink and then I'll probably use my brown to go back with the detail of the lips um, so that you can see where the middle of the lips are you want that crease to be blended just a little bit while um, while the pink is wet. And how you want to do that is you just want to flick out and up. And you can even use a red, just a darker shade of the pink. Um, yeah, I like the red better. I still have a little brown on my brush, but just make it kind of like... like that, maybe take the red and I'll line it a little bit. And I'm using the brush to just blend around there. And then we want to put highlights in the lips. So I just use Wolf White and I just put a couple of little dots near the lips that had much too much too much water in it. You can just pat it so that it's blended up around a little bit more. And again, you can do more outlining. Whatever you want to do. Um, you can use the pink also um, to put a little, little bit of cheek color in there. Um, definitely going to need to add a little bit of shadowing and some highlights. You want to put a lighter color on her nose and a darker color along her the outsides. Um, but that's not way important. I use a paradise white when I'm doing that um, step because it seems to blend better than the, the wolf white. You want to put just a little white on the tip of her nose for a highlight. You can just do it up the nose a little, a little bit on her chin. Um, you can put the two little light colors there up in the forehead. I'm hoping that you can even see what I'm doing. I'm not sure. Um, maybe we'll make it a little more dramatic so you can kind of see and then just kind of move it around. A little bit on the nose, a little bit up this way, and then the top of the cheeks. Just kind of blend it down a little bit more. You can use your finger to play around with it a little bit up in the forehead. Just anywhere that you're going to need a little highlight on this little fairy face, maybe on the neck. And then when you're doing the shadowing, you can do the same kind of thing with the brown. You bring a little bit of the light brown around and make sure there's not a lot of water on there, but you can do a little shadowing around the sides of the nose with a light brown. And you can bring it up whatever shape you want. More defined. Make the shadow under the neck more. Along the jawline. 
you, know, you can just play around with it and then when you're all done with that you can outline in black if you want it more dramatic you can keep it in brown you can make the elf ears a little more visible But that's kind of the face idea that I use on all my mermaids, and you kind of get the idea. Unfortunately, it looks like I had a little dark in my brush, so it looks like she's been beat, but you can kind of get the idea of where to put your highlights and how to blend them in. And it takes a little bit of work and practice, and I definitely wouldn't do this on something that, you know, a festival or a fair, but you can do the eyes pretty much really fast on anything. and. And then if you just want a really fancy one for your business cards or on a portfolio or on your website or something like that and you can shadow more in the eyes to get it more realistic there's a lot of things that you can do but this is the basic face look that I think people have been asking me how to do so thank you so much and I'll see you next time I appreciate you watching you guys have a great day facepaintingparadise.com um, my name is Athena, and again, I love doing tutorials for you, so keep the requests coming. Thanks so much. Have a great day. Bye.